It's hard to miss Steve Timmons on a volleyball court. At 6'5", he's not the tallest player on the U.S. men's volleyball team, but with his red flat top and his killer spike, he stands out. He stood out enough in the 1984 Olympics to be the team's most valuable player as the U.S. won the gold medal in Los Angeles. Steve Timmons wasn't even expected to make the team. Balboa Park, the old federal building gym, the squeak of sneakers, the smack of solid hits, and the grunts of a team then just two weeks away from getting on the plane for Seoul, Korea. It's getting serious now and intense. I think the intensity is the key to our team, and each individual on our team is very competitive, and it, it goes over, crosses over into, uh, you know, if we're playing checkers or cards, every guy wants to win. And the team has a tra uh, tradition of uh, getting real edgy prior to big tournaments in that you come into the gym and you know the USA men are in there because uh, of the intensity and, uh, uh, and the quality of play. And as the time before the Olympics grows shorter, Dunphy makes the drills longer and more intense. <laughs> This team practices hard and plays hard. No one harder than Steve Tim. I think some people would call it a money player. He seems to rise to the occasion as well as anybody that we have on the team. There was a full color picture of Steve Timmons' famous killer spike in a recent issue of Sports Illustrated. It was a feature about the U.S. men's volleyball team, but it mainly featured Steve Timmons. There's no question he's the most famous volleyball player in the world now, and he's gonna get even more famous. But with the fame comes pressure. The pressure of leading the team, the pressure of repeating as gold medal winners, the pressure of being a celebrity. I like pressure, if that's what you call it. Um, I like to have to perform when people don't think you can or when it's expected of you. Off the volleyball court, Timmons has an escape from the pressure, a creative outlet, and a way to maybe make a little money on his name. His own business, Red Sand, Steve Timmons' line of volleyballs and sportswear. It all started with the idea for an optic yellow beach volleyball that would be easy to see on the beach. And the logo was a really catchy little thing with a guy with a flat top on it. Hmm, I wonder who modeled for the logo. I'm just sort of a creative person. I like designing clothing and, and uh, t-shirts and, and doing that kind of thing. Came out pretty good. Started with t-shirts to promote the ball and then the t-shirts started selling faster than the ball so um, we just developed uh, some shorts and, and it just kept going from there and hopefully it'll continue to when I'm finished playing volleyball. But Timmons is not quite finished playing volleyball. There's a lot more starting with the Seoul Olympics. Getting to the Olympics was the biggest adventure of my life. I realized that I was on that Olympic team when we marched out into the Coliseum in Los Angeles and that crowd just took us in their arms and said, this is our team, and uh, it was unbelievably emotional. And he'll never forget the closing moments of the team's gold medal game versus Brazil. When the final point went down, I ran over to the referee, and he was from China. And he looked at me like I was attacking him or something, but uh, I just saw him for a second, and then I jumped off the stand, and uh, when I landed, we were the gold medal champions. It really is beyond words. Um, it's just like the value of the medal. It's not solid gold, but there's not too many people that would give that thing away for money because it, there's so much wrapped up in that medal. The U.S. team faced tough competition in Los Angeles, even though the Soviets weren't there. And the competition will be even tougher in Seoul, especially with the U.S. and Soviets co-favorites to reach the finals. We want that medal worse than anything, and um, I think the other teams know it, and um, hopefully uh, no one will get in our way for too long, or it could get ugly. But Timmons is hurting. Two weeks before Seoul, he was still trying to get over a pinched nerve in his elbow. Well, we need uh, a healthy Steve Timmons. Um, I, I think we can beat anybody in the world without him. It just uh, uh, makes my job a little bit easier if we go in with all the guns blazing. So hopefully uh, it will be better by the Olympics, but if it's not, I'll play with it, and I can play with the pain, and um, I'll have to pick up maybe some other areas if it really affects my hitting. Whatever it takes to win, uh, I'll do it. Be looking for Steve Timmons in Seoul. You can't miss him. He has a way of standing out.